Mr. McCarthy. Okay, right to the questions. We're gonna get right to the meat of this tonight, folks. We're not beating around the bush. All right, question number one. We've all seen the George Floyd video and the subsequent rioting, mayhem, autonomous zones, destructions of statues across the country. How can we support the black community, local law enforcement, while improving race relations throughout the United States? Okay, well, I've been speaking to this issue since I got into the campaign because we do have a problem with the culture in this country. We need to ensure that we are working on the cultural narrative that we have here in America. The Democrats, they've been trying to divide the nation because they do not believe in America. They want America to be torn down, which we've seen through all the riotings happening in the cities. The issue, we do need to have respect for police officers and we need to have respect for law and order. We are a civilized society. That being said, when we do have police who are acting in ways that they should, there do need to be ramifications for that. But the core of it does come down to being sure we do have this respectful attitude in this day and age. But I, I also partially blame what's been happening with the media in this nation. We've had in the media, they've been promoting the extreme bias that we've seen, the media presenting the far left agenda, and that's just been working to tear the country apart. So we need to be sure we are working on the country's culture being fixed as a whole across all regards. Thank you. Uh, and if any candidate needs that question repeated, please indicate, and I would be more than happy to repeat that. Would you like that? Absolutely. We've all seen the George Floyd videos and the subsequent rioting, mayhem, establishment of autonomous zones, and the destruction of statues across our country. How can we support the black community, local law enforcement, while improving race relations throughout the United States? Matt and Jell Well, in that question, you have a lot of things to break down. George Floyd video as a former law enforcement officer, it's very, very <clears throat> difficult, if not impossible, to defend. Any police officer knows what positional asphyxiation is. However, I'll couch that with that there has not been a full investigation, to my knowledge, done on that. Uh, everyone in this country is presumed innocent to prove guilty. And I think what we need to accomplish is we need to have rule of law. We should have equality under the law. It shouldn't matter what color you are, it shouldn't matter what your socioeconomic status is. We were all equal under the law, and I think we've lost that. Um, I agree with my uh, my friend here, Eli. The narrative that's pushed out, you have um, the rioting that started. It wasn't an initial, I think that was a trigger, and I think that, that was more of a coordinated effort that you saw happen in all these cities across the country almost within 48 hours of that happening. Usually, and I, I've been in riots when I was a New York City police officer, Something that tips off like that, it generally happens very quickly, very rapidly. This was something that was more sinister, more planned, in my, my personal opinion. Um, uh, as we saw in a Democratic convention that just ended, the Democratic convention, uh, not one mention was made about the violence that's going on in our cities now. These are cities that have been controlled for decades, in some cases in Chicago, I think it's 60 years or something since they've had actually a Republican mayor. I will speed it up. Um, rule of law, equality under the law. Closer to the mic. How about now? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm so meek. Um, no, equality under the law, everybody is the same. We're, we're devolving into two, two tiers of justice, and that needs to stop. People who are connected or people who are you know, elected officials, they seem to not apply. The same rules don't apply to them, and that needs to end. That needs to end now. Thank you, Matt Pajolver. Can you repeat the question, please? Can somebody Absolutely. bring me a Kleenex? Sorry. Absolutely. Thank you. It's just cold. My nose is cold. We've all I seen. I do not have COVID. 